I was born in Fort Wayne, Indiana, March 30th, 1929. Raised on a farm outside of Fort Wayne for the first 10 years of my public education. I went to the University of Kentucky, got an engineering degree, master's, and then went to uh, went into aerospace and uh, Apollo and the space shuttle and uh, many other uh, space manned space programs since. And in that industry, that's how I got acquainted with Jim. Jim had a history of particle physics, which is about as sophisticated as you can get. So I have great admiration for this man. Chuck's been my friend and mentor for quite a while. We talk about, among other things, his tractor and his old Dodge truck that mechanically perfect, but for the outside hasn't had a coat of paint since 1935. And he still works on that thing. See, I've done two things that have maybe be worth mentioning in the field of physics. The first one was a General Electric when I came up with a technique for calculating the thermal neutron fluxes in reactor shields. I've got a chapter about that in my book here. The second had to do with predicting or calculating the magnetic field at the surface of the planet Jupiter before they send anything out there to uh, measure it. And when they got some spacecraft out there, I was pretty close to the money, so I think I bet I should. I was smart enough to quit when I was ahead. Before we ever put men in space, it was feared that the radiation that a man would encounter in space would be lethal. And so Jim got into that and did the analysis uh, several times working with NASA, and he uh, proved that you can. It says as astronauts, we fully appreciate your work, and uh, it's addressed to me and it's signed by, it looks like about two dozen of the people who went into space. My interest in space came about when in 1957 the Russians launched Sputnik and kind of shook up the people in this country. Jim made some very important contributions not only to Apollo but all manned space. Now Mars is next and there we have missions of uh, 500 days or a thousand days. So all the work that Jim did, people now work with that today. Yes, I think this is a wonderful place for Jim and for, for anybody that, that needs a, a place to live in, a, in, a, in this kind of environment. I see Jim as a, a guy who uh, is very active in his thinking and you can look at his library and you can talk to him and you can discover that he's very interested in, in everything around him. and. Uh, and uh, this place, Round Tree Gardens, provides an environment that's, that's like that. From day one, it seemed like everybody here knew my name. People who served the meal, the people who were at the desk, the people at uh, the medical center and so on. They knew exactly who I was, probably my blood type, what uh, teams I rooted for in the World Series, that sort of thing. The place is a wonderful place where you feel at home almost immediately. Vladimir Horowitz has nothing whatsoever to worry about. <laughs> <laughs>